Hi Gemini, welcome back to my channel, Queen of All the Trade. This is your girl Bruce with the model and today I have your January 2019 monthly reading. Okay, so I hope you guys had a very happy holiday and I hope you guys have a very blessed um, new year, okay? So let's check out the energies for the month of January. I already um, pre shuffled your the advice portion of the card. Uh, let's see if I can open up. Oops. Your current energy, Gemini, is the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. The person that you're thinking about, Ten of Swords, that's that current energy. Past energy, Queen of Cups. Present, the Death. Future, the Page of Cups. The outcome, two of coins. The overall energy is the ace of coins. Underneath of that, we have the king of cups. Okay, so um, some of you guys, um, this can be a situation that when you might with some somebody with the king of cups and the queen. Of cups being here okay just give you a match to a person that you're dealing with um, but what I do see is that um, somebody is going to be making an offer or um, making an offer and um, offering their emotions okay um, or it could be a financial offer so your current energy overall is the um, page of swords okay so I see that you and this page of swords, energy, Gemini, um, currently, um, there could be some type of in, immature communication going on on your part right now. Um, you could be like looking up with somebody, looking, spying on the person that you're dealing with, trying to find some secrets out. Some of y'all is something that you're trying to find out from this person. You've been an investigator because the page of swords is inquisitive too. But you've been an investigator trying to figure something out before you move forward with this person and make this offer. I have the page of swords here. Yeah, because I see you want stability with this person and you want something long term, but. You weren't sure about something. You're trying to find out some secrets. And whatever this is, it was on your mind. You was worried about it. Okay. Queen of Swords. Okay, so you went from the Page of Swords energy to the Queen of Swords. So the Page, the Queen of Swords... Okay, yeah, so you were spying on this person, um, or 
you were spying on this person trying to gain some type of information, okay? So that with the Queen of Swords, you were trying to think about it in a clear mind um, so that you can move forward. It's something that you're trying to find out, okay? Um, you're trying to find out some type of information before you make plans to move forward into the future, okay? If for some of y'all, y'all had cut a person out of your life that, um, that was immature, Okay, this is another scenario. But in this one scenario, some of y'all cut somebody out of your life that was in that was um that was being immature and you left them back in 2018, okay? And for some of y'all, y'all trying to find some information out about a person, okay? You're trying to think about it in a clear mind um before you move forward with this person um in the future is something that, that's troubling you. You can be dealing with an um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra person as well. Or somebody that has that in their chart. Yeah, and the Knight of Swords going to come out too. Whatever this is, you move fast that. Not all these. It's too damn many. Let's get rid of all that. Okay. Okay, we have the King of Swords and the Tower, and we have a Heartbreak. Okay, so not only is the Page of Swords here, we have the Queen of Swords, we have the King of Swords, and then we have the Tower. Okay, like I said, this could be somebody that you're in a marriage with or somebody that you're in a partnership with already. Um... You're trying to find something out. For some of y'all, y'all trying to find something out about this person. Um, you're trying to find out some type of truth. And you're trying to think about it with a clear mind. With the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords energy being right here. With this um, Page of Swords, you were spying on this person. You was doing your research. Um, you're trying to find out this whatever this information is, okay? Um, whatever it is that you're looking for and you're searching for, um, it's shocking to you, okay? Um, the information... Is going to blow your fucking mind with this tower right here and it's going to change everything and um at the bottom of the deck we have the um the three of swords so this is something that's, that hurts you this is going to hurt you um hurt your heart to the core okay this is definitely going to hurt you um wow can you close my door for me thank you um yeah this is definitely going to hurt you um And for some of y'all, um, the first scenario, the other scenario that I seen where I said that you had cut somebody off because you had found out some type of truth, okay, it was something that you found out about this person that um, that caused you heartbreak, okay, and you're currently moving forward into 2019 without that person, with the Six of Swords being right underneath of the, um, the Three of Swords, okay, so that was for the second scenario, so... The way that this person is feeling about you or thinking about you, that current, that energy, the person that you're thinking about, that energy is the Ten of Swords energy. So they felt like there was an ending or they felt like they was betrayed or there was some type of deception. And it has something to do with some type of truth because I've just seen justice. Come on now, all these cards. Deception wanted to show itself. It was some sneaky behavior. They was betrayed because somebody was being um, deceptive. Somebody was being deceptive in this partnership. It was a part, this is like I said, as a marriage, a soulmate relationship, something where y'all is already together. And it was a deception in this, um, in this marriage, okay? And somebody walked away. Somebody had a lot of emotions for them. The king, of, the king of Cups came right back out. There was a lot of emotion. This was an emotional decision that this person had to make. Um, but they walked away from somebody that they had a lot of emotions from. They could have walked away from a Scorpio Cancer Pisces person, okay? But um, it's looking like they walked away and offered that cup to somebody else. Somebody walked away and offered that cup to somebody else that they had emotions for, okay? So... It was a betrayal, an ending. Somebody walked away from this marriage or this 
this union, okay? And um, it was like this. And then he offered that cup to somebody else, okay? I don't know who the heck that was. And there was some deceptive, um, sneaky behavior going on, Gemini. Oh, wow. I'm going to leave these cards out. I should put them back in the deck. Please. And then the other cards that came out was the Four Cups, the Sun, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. Okay, and that all came out landing on the overall energy, which is the Ace of Coins. Okay, so the Ace of Coins is about um, brand new. All it is like brand new beginnings. The Ace of, um, you know, new opportunities and things. The Ace of Coins, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of um, Wands. Okay, so um clarifying i guess it's clarifying the ace of coins so in the situation somebody see that they're um they find you know in the situation that they go into um i don't know if this is you that's that left this partnership and offered a cup of love to somebody else or if you was the one that found out this secret about this person and cut this person off. If somebody cut somebody off, they found out some type of secret that was heartbroken, okay? And the secret was basically that they was that they was messed with somebody else. They walked away and left you for somebody else. Okay. Um somebody found some new opportunity somewhere else. You know, they got the true clarity that they was um that they were seeking. And um, they decided to offer their, you know, offer some passion somewhere else. But this is what I see here already. Um, but if he was the one that was being betrayed um, and heartbroken, don't worry because there's new opportunities coming for you, you know. There's new opportunities coming for you within your finances. There's new opportunities coming towards you um, in romance, you know, as far as your passions. You've got to come into some passionate new creative ideas and you're about to gain some type of truth and clarity you know about some things um and it's it's going to make you happy okay um it's going to make you happy for some of you you could be offering um having a new opportunities and offering things that could be new opportunities okay and offerings towards a leo or from a leo okay And these offices coming in, some of you guys are just bored with some of these offers, okay? And some of you guys are just contemplating on which offer is going to make you the happy, happy as we go. I do see offers coming in. But some of you are just looking like you're bored with the offer, right? You don't, you contemplate in the offer like you're meditating because you're hesitating on whether or not you should accept these offers or not. Some of y'all is, um... Yeah, some of y'all is hesitating on whether or not you should set these offers. All the aces is on the board, so I do see new beginnings here. There's there's a potential for a brand new start, okay, with all the aces on the board, with even with this ace of cups, okay? But the way that the person that you're thinking about is feeling is that, you know, they feel like they've been betrayed, they feel like they've been backstabbed because, you know, they've been backstabbed in this partnership because somebody walked away. And offer that cup to somebody else. So maybe this is you, to um, Gemini, who's offering, who's trying to make an offer to somebody else. Or maybe you, or maybe you walked away to accept an offer of love. Maybe you accepted an offer from somebody else. But with the page of swords being right here, I see that you was fine on that situation, or you are spine and trying to figure out the truth and try to think about it in a clear way okay but with this, whatever it is like they say if you go looking you shall find okay if you go looking for these answers you shall find and you know it's going to turn your world upside down with this tower you ain't going to see this shit coming this is some shocking information that you just don't that you wasn't expecting to find you probably had an inkling of what was going on but you ain't know that it was in this great detail like this you didn't know that it was that you didn't know that it was that deep okay so basically in the past we have the, the um queen of coins 
I mean cups. So intuitively you knew. Like I said, you you knew about it. You, you probably didn't know how severe the situation was or what it was that you was going to find. But intuitively, you knew. But you continued to love this person, you know, even though that you knew about it. The present energy is that, so there's an ending in the situation, okay? Somebody ended the situation. And then, you know, we have the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck, and that causes, that's causing a lot of loss. Sadness, despair, you know, currently within your situation. So currently, you know, something ended and you're feeling lost, sad, heartbroken. You know, this was devastating. And not only was it devastating for you, but it was devastating for this other person too. Because they felt betrayed by whatever went on. Give me more of that. Tell me more about that. Get out of here with that. Okay, I guess I explained it enough. They won't tell me anything else about it. It's just the ending period. You know, currently there's an ending. Look, the will when to come. I mean, the will. The world came out. This is the completion of a cycle, okay? Um, this cycle has ended. This is a, another way of saying it's done. It's done. And But I do see four aces here. All four aces is out. So there's a potential for a new opportunity here, you know, in love and money and you know your creative endeavor you know um and getting the peace of mind you know i do see that all here and all these things having the opportunity to make you um happy okay but i do see that you guys are um contemplating hesitating on taking this offer from whoever this is okay because you have an offer people is coming to make you offers okay there's offers being made to you but you don't know if you want to take those and they probably had something to do with the fact that you um, still heartbroken. So in the future energy, we have, um, yeah, but I do see that you will be victorious in the situation. You know, um, you know, if you do decide to take these offers that is being offered to you. Um, but the future energy, um, Gemini, we have is the Page of Wands. Um, cool. The Page of Cups, okay. So you can be dealing with a Scorpio cancer or Pisces person, okay, specifically a Scorpio here. <laughs> okay. Um, can you turn it off, please? And thank you. So basically, I see that um, the current energy is somebody gonna be meditating and praying, okay, and also that could be an apology coming through too for the future no this is the future energy for the future energy there could be a, a apology coming through okay and we have the page of wands that flew all the way across the room so um there could be apology coming through from somebody um Somebody who wants to be with you, okay, that has a lot of passion for you. This could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, specifically Leo, because Leo is at the top. Um, but I don't, I don't see, right, I don't see that you're going to be worrying, I'm thinking about that offer right now. You're not worrying about that because you have your own things that's going on right now. So, these offers that I see coming to you, um, there's somebody that has a lot of passion for you, but I see that you're not... Really focus on that because you're stressed and worried about this current tower moment that you just fucking uh, discovered, okay? This tower that is hitting your situation. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this, um...
Yeah, okay, so somebody is coming through to you with the um, star card, okay? And um, the star card is about hope, having hope and faith, okay? Um, this person is going to come and apologize to you in the future, whoever this is, or you're going to go and apologize to somebody else. You have a lot of passion for them, and it's telling you um, to have hope and faith, okay? You can be dealing with an Aquarius person, or somebody that has Aquarius in that chart. But it's saying to have hope and faith because you will get over this heartbreak, okay? And this came back out again. Um, it's saying to have hope and faith, you will get um, get out of this heartbreak, okay? So this could be the person that's coming in to you with all these offers. They could be trying to cheer you up. You know, they have a lot of passion for you, but you're just not trying to hear that shit. Right? You ain't, you ain't going to be trying to hear that. But it's telling you to have hope and faith, Okay. Also, um, it could be a person who deceived you, yeah, and he got a full card, new beginnings. There's going to be a brand new, fresh start. There's going to be something brand new and fresh starting out. Also, um, this could very well be this person that that um, deceived you in the past, okay, who walked away and offered that cup of love to somebody else. They could be coming back to you and offer you an apology, okay, and letting you know that, you know, they're passionate about you, okay. And um, when he comes to you, it's going to tell you to have, you know, have hope and faith to keep yourself together, you know, um, especially because this person is, um, I didn't see the full one, so this is a soulmate connection or a, a union. Um, if this person does come back to you, um, there will be a brand new, fresh beginning with this person, okay? And I see them offering you everything all across the board when they come back. Offering you love, offering you, you know, um, the new financial stability, offering you the passion, giving you the truth about why they walked away, you know. And when it's, if they come to you with that, you know, maybe that'll make you happy. But if for some reason, in the back of your mind, you know, you're like, mm, I don't know about that, you know, and you're hesitating about it. Anything else you have to tell me about Gemini? Yeah, it says some of you guys are going to be manifesting something new. Okay, you want to look back at the past. But some of y'all, y'all manifesting something new shit. Okay, with the um, magician and the um, the page of wands being right here. I mean, you looking back at the past, at this person that you was dealing with. Okay, you, of course you still got feelings for them. You thinking about them. You remembering them. But at the same time, it was just toxic, and it was just a burden, okay? So, for some of y'all, y'all going to be moving forward to common waters, okay? To something that's, that's going to keep your mind, um, you know, moving forward to common waters, you know, away from all the bullness, okay? And towards stability. Okay, so the outcome we have is the two of coins. Okay, so I see that somebody is going to be trying to get some balance in the situation. Let's clarify this too. Yeah, because somebody had options. I do see this when we try some type of equal give and take, or somebody going to still be juggling. If you're taking this person back who left you for somebody else, they're going to still be juggling. And it's going to be too much on you. It could either be another ending. Or this shit is going to be too much for you, a burden. Why is this two of coins here for the outcome? The Knight of Swords want to come out again. This could say take your time and... um. And you need to be taking your time and get yourself balanced out and stop moving too quick. But some of y'all, y'all moving too quick. If some of y'all is the ones that's making all these offers to a person. Yeah, it's saying that um, things need to be balanced out, okay? The ten of ones want to come out. Because if not, it's going to continue to burden you.
the outcome, you just need to get yourself balanced, get things balanced out. I'm trying to get some more info. Yeah, things you need to get things balanced out because right now it's too much. It's too much baggage, okay? You holding on to too much bag baggage. You hold on to too much baggage and you need to get things balanced out for some of y'all. And then we have the Ten of Coins, we have the Two of Wands, we have the World, and then we have the um, Knight of Wands, and then at the bottom we have Judgment, okay? So some of y'all is trying to balance out and decide for the outcome. I see that you guys are trying to get balanced, okay, and make a clear decision, okay, on what you want to do with this commitment, okay, with this partnership. Some of you guys uh, have kids with this person, okay, like I said, this person is going to want to come back and apologize to you, okay, for the wrongdoings that they have done and make you all these offers, but you're hesitating, okay, and I see that for the outcome, you're going to be contemplating, um, you're going to be, you're going to be the one that's deciding, you know, having choices and decisions to make about what it is that you want to do as far as the situation because this person had hurt you. Okay. Um, for some of y'all, y'all going to close the cycle out. Okay. And for some of y'all, y'all going to accept this apology that this person is going to come into you and the cycle is going to be closed and a new cycle is going to begin. Okay. Because this person is going to come forward to you and move forward to you quickly in a passionate way. Some of y'all, y'all just gonna let the shit close out, okay? And that's the final judgment. Y'all, y'all gonna make a final decision on this, okay? Some of y'all, y'all done. If it's some of y'all, Jesus, what are you doing? For some of y'all, y'all done. If it's some of y'all, um, A new cycle is about to start and you're about to move forward to this person. You're going to allow this person to come towards you um, because you have passion for them, okay? So let me tell you, uh, let's go over your advice cards, okay? So I already pre shuffled your advice before I did all this. So let's see what the advice is. So the first one we have is, it says, she is elated with strength and dignity. And she laughs without fear of the future. Okay. So basically this is saying that, you know, don't let whatever this is that you discovered, this type of woman, don't let that get you down. Okay. Have, you know, keep your strength together. Keep yourself together. Keep your dignity together. Okay. Keep, keep yourself together. Okay. Keep yourself together. And don't let this type of moment stress you out, okay? The next message that we have is... If God brings you... Hold up. If God brings you to it, he will bring you through it, okay? So it says, if God brings you to it, he will bring you through it. Trust that God will bring... Or whoever you believe in the divine... Trust that God will bring you out of this, okay? Whatever it is that you found is shocking, but trust that you will come out of this, okay? There's something that you have to learn here. There's something that you have to go through here to, um, you know, to experience. It's something that you have to, you know, find out here, okay? And that's the reason why you were snooping around in the beginning trying to figure this out because intuitively you knew that something was going on. But trust that God will bring you through through this, okay? I know you may be feeling heartbroken right now, okay? But trust that you will come, that, that he will bring you through this. You will definitely get through this. That's why you have the hope and faith here. It says, have hope and faith, okay? Some of you guys need to meditate and pray, but ultimately I see that this is an apology, And then we also have, I'll, I'll love you forever. Okay. I'll love you forever. I'm guessing that's the divine's message for you. The divine will love you forever. 
Okay, and for romance angels, we got getting to know each other better. Okay, so for some of you guys, like I said before, there's a new person that's coming in with these brand new offers, this brand new offer of love. You know, all the aces is out. So there's brand new opportunities coming towards you, but you hesitating about whether or not you want to take this offer or not from this person. But I do see that you guys will be getting to know each other a little bit more, okay? So as you guys get to know each other, then maybe, you know, you'll be more receptive of, of, of accepting these offers from this person. The next advice call we got is let go of control issues. Okay, um, some of you guys need to let go of the control, let go, and let God handle it, okay? Trust that you is put in a situation for a reason and that you will get out of the situation, okay? Um, last, we have, um, well, the third one messages we have is retreats, okay? So, um, basically, with this ending, you know, this is an ending right here with this and I do see that you guys you know you're heartbroken right now and you just want to be alone you know pe you, people was coming to you with office left and right for some of y'all and y'all don't have time like y'all don't want to entertain that at all you know you don't want to entertain that at all and I see that you spend a lot of time um by yourself okay and then we have reconciliation like I said this person somebody whoever this person is that hurt you or hurt your heart, they're going to come back with this apology and try to reconcile with you. Yep, they're going to try to reconcile with you and start something new, a new cycle with you and move forward to you passionately. Yep. But ultimately, the choice is yours. The decision is yours of what it is that you want to do. So let's talk about all the people that's in the reading and then we're going to close this reading out. Okay. So we have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or somebody that has Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in that chart. Gemini, or somebody that got Gemini in that chart. Um, I want to read the court cards in the majors, basically. Aquarius, or somebody that has Aquarius in that chart. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or somebody that has that in their charts. Um, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or somebody that has that in their chart. Scorpio specifically, Scorpio Cancer Pisces again. Scorpio Cancer Pisces again. I think that this could be a marriage or something. Okay. Um, Taurus, Virgo, I mean Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Specifically in Aquarius because we've seen the star card. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This is your energy, Gemini. Um, or somebody that has these in that chart. Okay. Um, Leo, specifically. Okay, so that's your reading, um, Gemini, for January 2019. Um, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.